Chester to Liverpool is the longest of the four branches which form the Wirral Line network. The Ellesmere Port branch converges at Hooton and trains from both branches serve all stations to Liverpool. At Birkenhead, all four branches converge before passing beneath the River Mersey and entering the single-line loop serving the centre of Liverpool. Our driver is Bernie Houghton, based at Birkenhead Central. Services are formed of either Class 507 or 508 electric multiple electric service, replacing the 30-minute diesel service, further resignalling took place to accommodate the more intense service. Today, the majority of the Merseyrail network is controlled from the Integrated Electronic Control Centre at Sandhills, located to the north of Liverpool city centre. Here, controllers can communicate with drivers and station staff as well as passengers using the help points. Our train's progress is monitored from a series of VDU screens, our train number being 2 Charlie 33, the C standing for Chester. In similar fashion to Capenhurst, land and money were provided for the station here at Bromborough, which opened in May 1846. The station was considerably altered following the addition of two extra tracks in 1902 and was altered again following their removal in the 1970s. Referred to as Greenfield Bridge during its construction, the main station building is little altered from C&B days. The computer screen shows the layout of the western approach to Hamilton Square, which was considerably altered as part of the Loop Tunnel project in the 1970s to allow a more intense service. There is no AWS here, the signal is working off a Tripcock system, similar to that on the London Underground. We're now in tunnel all the way to Liverpool Central. The Grade 2 listed building is still staffed on weekdays from 6 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. The other main rural line diverges at Hamilton Square. At Birkenhead North, the line splits in two to serve the new Brighton and West Kirby branches. At Bidston, connection is made with the branch to Wrexham. We return to Liverpool Central, located in the centre of the city's shopping district and incorporated into the central shopping development. We get the all clear as signal ML573 gives us the route indicator for the new Brighton line. The route setting is done entirely automatically as a computer holds the full timetable at the IECC. Eddie only needs to intervene if there are any changes or disruptions. It's interesting to compare the schematic diagram with the actual layout on the ground. We now curve around the site of Wallasey Pool, later to become Bidston Dock, which formed the nucleus of the Birkenhead Docks network. On the left, signs of the former Bidston North Junction the third side of the triangle with the West Kirby line. Laid from day one, the triangle was out of use by 1983. Almost immediately, we passed the site of Seacombe Junction, another triangle. This led to the docks and three-mile-long...